How to create customer journeys in MailChimp email marketing. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be breaking it down step by step on how you can build a customer journey on MailChimp, which includes building your email as well as setting up automations to make sure that email is delivered at the perfect time. So let's get into it. So by customer journey, we refer to the process that a customer goes through step by step when they are browsing through your store or whenever they go through your sign up process, your purchasing process. So the first thing to do is to link your MailChimp account to your pre-existing website. So that is where the starting point of most of your customers is going to come from. And you can go into integrations over here in MailChimp and go into manage. And then you can link your website. I will be linking my Shopify store over here. So I'm going to disconnect this and then reconnect with a new one like so. And then just log on to your Shopify store. You will have to just link it to MailChimp. And to do that, simply head on over, go into apps over here and go to all of the app sections like this and then you will just find the MailChimp application in Shopify. This is going to be a similar process in any kind of website builder. If you're using Wix, if you're using WordPress, you just have to install the plugin for MailChimp. And if the native plugin for MailChimp is not available, you can easily integrate it via Zapier. So you can use that to build a connection with MailChimp and your database or your website. So we're just going to install MailChimp over here and then we can just click on integrate. We're going to click on over here, click on login. And now we're just going to link our Shopify store like so. And then click on allow over here. And just like that, your integration between MailChimp will be built. So once you have completed that, you will see all of your sync information and syncing tags and more, but we're just going to complete our basic setup and then we can go back into MailChimp and then get started with building our customer journey. So let's get started with building our customer journey once our Shopify store has been connected and you can do that in two ways. You can either choose to create your email first and then you can build your customer journey or you can just build your customer journey and then later on choose the email that you want to integrate it. Now I will show you guys a few different templates for customer journeys as well as how you can build one from scratch and some of the basics of email building. So to get started with building your own customer journey, you can click on automations on the left over here. And once you click on automations, you can click on all journeys to see any of your pre-existing customer journeys. Then you have the second section, which is the pre-built journey section. Now in this section, you can find all of the pre-existing customer journeys that have been built in MailChimp. And these templates are very, very useful. You can just customize them a little bit to fit your business and they work really well. Now on the top, you can actually choose the topic and the channels. So I want this to be only email based journeys that I want to view. And let's say for our particular customer journey, I want this to be related to e-commerce. And then you have different categories as well. Some are welcoming for new contacts, some are to nurture leads, some are to re-engage your contacts, some are to support and manage contacts. So to build our first customer journey, usually that starts with a welcome email. So I'm going to go ahead and welcome new contacts. So I'm going to click on welcome new contacts and a contact signs up to an audience, send a welcome email. So I'm going to click on use this journey and click on continue. And now we're going to customize this. So whenever a contact signs up for let's say shopping or popular, we're going to go with contact activity. And whenever a sign, a person signs up for email, and I'm going to save this as our starting point. And after that, I want to send them a welcome email. So you will see in your welcome email, if you click on that particular customer journey, you have a to and from. So this will be the name that your email appears from. So to their email address from Jane at Aurora Sparkles. That is what I'm going with. Then we have the subject. I'm going to edit this and we are going to edit a welcome to Durden, whatever, or glitter and gold code. That is our Shopify store name. So glitter and 
gold co and then you can add your preview text so and it could be like a discount or just a basic welcome so i'm just going to enter our preview text and then just click on save over here after that you have the schedule so every day as soon as possible now i want this to be as soon as possible and every day because this is just going to be sent once to every customer now, once you have fit in the basic information of how your email is to be sent, then you're going to actually design your email on the right panel over here. So from here, you can click on select a template to get started with actually choosing the email template that is going to be sent every time a new customer signs up. So you can start from scratch or you can use one of your pre-existing templates as well. Let's say I will go for this one over here and yeah, this is a very simple minimal one. So I'll just click on apply over here and then I can start editing this. So we're going to edit this and we're just going to add, you know, whatever is your text about your email. You can even insert pictures. You can add a shopping button, whatever it might be. And then I'm just going to click on save and return to journey. You can customize this email fully to the fullest extent, however you want. Now, after that, once you have completed this on the top left, you will get an option of whether or not a contact repeats this journey. So for our contacts, this is not going to be a repeated journey. This is not going to be something that where people are going to go through this over and over again. You only send one welcome email. So once you have done that, you are just going to click on continue on the top left, and then you can proceed with your particular plan or just proceed with free if you are on the trial version of MailChimp. Now you can also send test emails to check if your email or check if the journey is working. And we're just going to click on send test over here. And once you click on send test, you can actually open up your own email address to see whether or not it is working. So you can go on ahead and make sure that your email is working. So it is actually working. Jane at Aurora Sparkles, welcome to the Glitters newsletter, blah, blah, blah. It has all the information that we set it up with. So in this way, you can get started with building your own customer journey. This is just a very basic customer journey. You can integrate multiple different applications and, and you know, build something that is going to be very easy and efficient for you to manage. This includes customer journeys where purchase would lead to the invoice being sent. You can easily build those as well and they already have templates for those. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.